welcome back to diesel builds 22 um i installed the bank's danager tuner and a cold air intake on my pickup i love the performance of it it is amazing i was pulling my 30 footer uh, fifth wheel camper uh, a couple days ago and that thing did amazing like had no issues at all lots of power and what I really like about it is it did uh, knock down the power as soon as it got a little bit too hot. I was going through a bunch of hills there, in the Rocky Mountains there. And it would automatically drop the power, so it's really safe to your engine. Uh, pretty sure the top one was 60 horsepower, and then uh, each level is uh, 10 horsepower, something like that. And uh, yeah, the stage six is gonna be the 60 horse uh, i didn't turn it down at all i just left it sitting at 60 horse the whole entire time i got the banks ram air cold air intake um it is amazing like that thing sounds so good i should uh, take it for a drive anyways i want to show you a quick rundown how to how i ran the wires so you got the three plugs here they it is all plug and play you don't have to splice any wires um i ran the wires through got them running all the way through here and uh here's the main module right here and from here on it goes inside the truck right there you can see beside the boot i didn't want to cut any holes or drill any holes in my firewall or my rubber so i just sort of pushed it in there but i got it oh man tough to see there it's really hard to see but i did run it in got it plugged in here and um, the other wires i just had them coming in through here i did end up going right into my vent because i found out they're only 40 bucks and i really don't like the one on the windshield it really ruins the look of the truck but this way it's nice and clean well in my opinion so it turned out really nice and clean i didn't have any other issues other than i took the whole entire vent apart took it all in, in pieces uh, you can see there's no flappers in there nothing i glued shut that main flapper in the back so there's no heat coming out not to overheat the computer itself and uh yeah you can kind of see the wires in there they're coming out the side of the vent and they're going down and uh yeah that's how i ran it i guess let's go for a little drive and i had this thing on already for about three weeks and uh yeah i was at about 18 liters per 100 kilometers now it went down to 14 liters per 100 kilometers so i gained quite a bit of fuel mileage fuel range i should say and i'm getting about a thousand kilometers to a tank and even though i got a six-speed transmission i know the new trucks they got the 10-speed transmission you get about a thousand kilometers to them about a thousand kilometers to them either way and uh they do last a bit longer in fuel mileage but anyways yeah i got uh 33 12 and a half tires on there they're a 12 wide rim negative 44s and the performance of it is just amazing like i'm very surprised i would recommend it to anyone I did not try any other tunes yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to try them out, all of them. And I forgot to mention, but this tune is emission compliant. So, I do still have my DF tank. Uh, kind of spilled all over the place. I was filling it up yesterday. But, yeah, it is all still intact. I really don't want to delete it unless it's going to start giving me issues. I guess I shouldn't say that out loud. But, yeah, that's that's the plan anyways. But... Yeah, let's go for a drive and uh, try it out. So it is showing all my power levels. You can see power level right there, your boost. That's your power right here. But yeah. You can hear the turbo way louder. Like it's amazing what it does. It wasn't as good without the cold air intake, but as soon as I got the cold air intake in it, it's just amazing. Oh, I turn the traction control off for that. Little 
spin and off she goes. I'll try to keep the window open to see if uh, I can't really hear it with the window open. Oh, it feels so good. Let's pretend we're taking the streets of Mexico here. sort of hear it, it's like a blow of valve it sounds amazing like in person it is way louder I don't know if my phone's gonna pick it up I don't have a professional camera I'm just using my phone here I don't know if it's picking up the sounds or not so I'll we'll try to do a little pull here oh and the truck has to come out but the pole really the truck came out in front of me there he is past them just now but uh it does spin for two gears uh those are 33 inch tires and uh they're not that big but still uh they're quite decently sized So this is what it sounds when you shut it off all the time. Sounds amazing. You can't tell me that sounds not good. Man, it's just awesome. I love it. I would do that all day long, like, listen to it here. Oh, I didn't do it this time. I guess I didn't have it running long enough, but that thing is awesome. Like, every time you're driving it somewhere, and you hear that sound it's just so nice and it's not deleted again like it's it's awesome i love it yeah, sadly my phone doesn't really pick up the sounds um i will have to get a little better camera soon i guess if we keep on doing these videos and everything but uh yeah i, I listen to it right now and it's not the best you can hear a little bit if you crank up the volume but yeah it's not not the loudest thing out there in person it is way louder um, honestly, but yeah, that's it for now. Uh, if somebody has a truck that is bone stock and you guys are in BC area, British Columbia, Canada, uh, hit me up. I wouldn't mind to do a poll with you, I guess, and see how much better this tune is actually than stock. I have tried little street poles here and there with a few different trucks. Uh, there was a deleted power stroke um i think he had a 60 horse tune and uh yeah i got him pretty good there i haven't tried any other trucks yet didn't really find anyone to do it with but if you are somewhere around british columbia i'm in the northern bc part hit me up we'll make a little race and uh, get you to join my youtube video well, i guess i shouldn't say any truck but uh l5p um, Duramax that would be stock would be awesome because I know that if somebody comes with a different truck might be a little odd but I really want to know what this tune does in particular if it is any better uh, I know mileage is way better that's for sure like guaranteed but for speed wise I guess and uh, 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 and just so I know actually how much this tune adds would be nice to find out but uh yeah if you guys have a power stroke that is stock and uh or with a, i guess a tune or something yeah not a 100 horse deleted tune because i know that's no chance for me but if you're running a um, emission compliant tuning and you want to try it out hit me up let's do it well we have reached the end of this video uh thanks for watching Please subscribe and comment and uh, 
yeah hit me up if you have a truck then you want to try to race uh email me i'll drop my email below or comment and uh let's try it out i'm totally down for it but yeah thanks for watching i will have a few videos to update here shortly and uh yeah stay tuned for more videos peace <laughs>